what is the correct mode of hybridization of the central atom in the following compounds so they are asking hybridization of central atom you are given three compounds no2 minus sf4 and pf6 minus so first what is the central atom so in no2 minus nitrogen will be the central atom why nitrogen is a central atom because it has less electronegative value than oxygen. So, whichever is having less electronegative value will be the central atom. So, first let us take nitrogen. Nitrogen, what is the valence electron of nitrogen? So, you have to know the valence electron. You know nitrogen car nitrogen is atomic number is seven. So we know the period carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. Below nitrogen you have phosphorus, below oxygen you have sulfur. So what is the valence electron of carbon? See carbon is atomic number six. So 1s2, 2s2. 2p2. So the valence electron is 4. Here the valence electron is 5. And here the valence electron is 6. Here the valence electron is 7. Phosphorus also lie in the same P group. So the valence electron of phosphorus is also 5. And sulfur is 6. So now moving on to nitrogen. Nitrogen how many valence electron? 5. So put 5 valence electron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then minus means gain of one electron. So you have to put another electron. Next. What is bonded here? Oxygen is bonded. Right? Oxygen is bonded. Now we, you have to know the valency. Of oxygen. Oxygen, you know, it is always double bonded. That is mostly it exists as minus 2. That means what you have to do? Two electrons is shared by one oxygen. So another two electron is shared by one oxygen. See here, because double bond, oxygen is having double bond. Now this is an easy way to calculate the hybridization. What happens now? See how many bond pair electrons? See here, bond pair is 1 and 2 bond pair, bond pairs. And how many lone pair? Lone pair is 2. Now, how to calculate the hybridization? See, for this one pair, you have to take S. For this another pair, you have to take P. And you have another pair. You have to take P1. This is P1 and this is P2. That means what? P has three orbitals. So this is Px, Py, P2. This is P1, P2, P3. So the hybridization is S, P, 2 hybridization. Okay. Then going on to S, F, 4. SF4 sulfur. Sulfur, what is the valence electron? 6. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then fluorine. Fluorine, what is the valency? It is minus 1. So that is singly bonded. That means one fluorine electron is bonded, another fluorine electron is bonded, another fluorine electron is bonded, and another fluorine. Now calculate the hybridization. This is S. So this is P1, P2 and this is P3. Now this is P4. Not P4. This is B. You have only P. In P you have only 3 orbitals. See you have to take 2 electrons as for one hybridization. In this case here. This is sulfur is giving one electron in hand here fluorine is having one electron. So this is one bond pair and this is another bond pair. 
What is the hybridization now? Yes. P3 and it is D. The hybridization of SF4. Next going to PF6. Phosphorus is coming under nitrogen. So what is the valence electron? 5. So for PF6 minus 5 is the valence electron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and minus means it is gain of 1 electron. So another electron you have to put. Then how many fluorine is there? You have 6 fluorine. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6. Then what is the hybridization C? This is S and you have 3 for P3 and you have D. 2. The hybridization is S, P3, D2. So which coincides? It is S, P2, it is S, P3, D and it is S, P3, D2. So our option is B.